so our, our technology and our, our scientific abilities need to advance tenfold, a hundredfold. Well, that's right. <laughs> but we're, we're getting there. A lot of the things you see on Star Trek we think will, in fact, be possible. Uh, for example, the teleporter, right? Right. Everyone says, wow, Captain Kirk just zapped between A and B, right? Yeah, I don't need a flying car if I've got a teleporter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Who needs to have an airplane if you can just push a button, mm -hmm. right? Well, first of all, Roddenberry invented the transporter because Paramount Studios says it costs too much money to have rockets land and take off, land and take off each time. So teleporters were invented by Roddenberry as a measure to cut the budget of the Star Trek series. Oh, I love it. Now, we physicists today mm -hmm. can teleport particles of light called photons. The world's record is 100 miles. Wow. From one Canary Island, we can zap a photon and it materializes on another Canary Island. We're going to do that next for the space shuttle. We're asking NASA for permission to set up in the space shuttle a right. device where we can teleport photons into space and back. And after 2020, when we go to the moon, we're going to teleport to the moon. There's no limit to how far we can teleport. Wow. And within 10 years, we'll teleport the first molecule, like water, for example. Right. We can teleport beryllium. We can teleport atoms of cesium. Mm -hmm. Next will be a molecule, like water. After that, DNA. We may be One able to teleport complex, yes. a virus. We may be yeah. able to teleport life forms. Now, Captain Kirk is more of a problem. <laughs> Captain <laughs> Kirk consists of 50 trillion cells. That's how yeah. many cells we have in the body. Mm -hmm. That will require centuries of work. But hey, Star Trek takes place in the 23rd century. That gives us enough time. That's about right. <laughs> about then, we may be able to eliminate train tickets, eliminate plane tickets, and solve the energy crisis by pushing a button. <laughs> that would be so amazing. Now, is it actually I mean, is it in teleportation now? Is it the photon that is in one location that you are taking that exact photon and transporting it to another location, or is it an exact copy or replica? Well, if you're a true Trekkie, <laughs> you know that the original is destroyed yes. and a carbon copy is created at the other end. We destroy the information content of the original cesium atom mm -hmm. or beryllium atom. We then create a copy of it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you begin to wonder, if you teleport Captain Kirk and his atoms are destroyed, you saw him dying, who is this pretender over here who has the same memories, <laughs> the same information content, the same genome yeah. of Captain Kirk over there? Where is the soul if right. you can destroy somebody and literally resurrect them someplace else? We it think about this questions. problem because yeah. this is an engineering problem now. Yeah. It's no longer a question of physics. It's an engineering problem, a very big engineering problem. But you begin to wonder how, what happens when you teleport life. Mm -hmm. You know, what is being teleported? The essence of life, the soul? You know, you begin to think about these cosmic questions. Even right. physicists think about these things. 